But first, a company that's supposed to help families have babies through surrogacy is being investigated by the FBI. Talking about several million dollars, probably, um, that is just gone. Somebody else spent our money. The business, which collects big payments from intended parents and transfers the money to surrogates, abruptly shut down. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Now, people who were hoping to start or expand their families through surrogacy say they have lost thousands of dollars. News 6 investigator Mike DeFora spoke with a local couple who cannot get their money back. Hi. Hi, Tina. Angela Cacciola and her husband, Joe, are the proud new parents of Antonio. He is just everything that we had hoped for. Their son was born through surrogacy, a very expensive process the couple says can typically cost more than $100,000. Much of that money goes towards compensating the surrogates, like Sarah, who carried baby Antonio, and covering their medical bills during pregnancy. We tried our best to treat her like family. Like many intended parents, the Cacciolas used an escrow company to hold their money until it needed to be paid out to the surrogate. So it's very similar to when you're buying a house, you know, when you make an offer and you want the seller to understand that you're serious about it and that you have the funds to support the sale. The Cacciolas sent their money to a Texas-based company called Surrogacy Escrow Account Management, or SEAM. Their slogan, we'll handle the money, you handle what matters. But earlier this summer, SEAM abruptly shut down. Intended parents like the Cacciolas say they cannot get their money back from SEAM. Now, lawsuits have been filed against the company and the FBI has launched a criminal fraud investigation. We're talking about several million dollars probably um, that is just gone. Somebody else spent our money. After Antonio was born, the Cacciolas say they had about $8,000 left in their escrow account. That money was supposed to be distributed to Sarah, but the couple says Seam never sent her that payment. Because she is owed that money and we're responsible for it, um, we had to come up with that money again and pay her directly. The Cacciolas feel fortunate because their son was born and most of their payments had successfully gone through. People are just desperate at this point. Families just beginning surrogacy say they've lost tens of thousands of dollars. It's super emotional, yeah, because we don't know how we can move forward to have our own child at this point. According to Seam's website, the company was run by Dominique Side. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. An aspiring rapper who's appeared in music videos like this one. According to one lawsuit, Dominique Side may have been misappropriating the escrow funds for years in order to bankroll Dominique's other business ventures and lavish lifestyle. Side did not respond to our questions. In an email to our sister station in Houston, Side said she was aware of an active investigation by federal authorities and is not permitted to respond to any inquiries under the advice of her attorney. A Texas judge has frozen the company's assets while the litigation is underway. Meanwhile, the FBI has created a web page seeking tips in this case and information about potential victims. We posted a link to that on our website, clickorlando.com. Folks are driving mess. so much money yeah. there, tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, in some cases, they're borrowing money from family members oh. and friends, taking out loans, other jobs. Yeah. And, and again, the Cacciolas say they're lucky because they were at the end of the process. It's when you're at the beginning and, and uh, the, uh, the surrogate's not pregnant yet. Sure. There oh. goes yeah, your hope of having a family gone. in some yeah, cases. They have their, their family. Oh, yeah. man, that's terrible. Like, I hope you follow up on that one. Thank you.